I'm okay. He doesn't realize it's pretty We have to show him the real world. Right, something about... I don't even know what they're talking about. But anyway, something about frame 11 because that's the thing. Uh, guard Chomp versus Decidueye, I believe I saw. Uh, Chomp opting for Miss Magi Magius. I don't know what it is, Mage, I guess. And uh, I don't know what the heck Fuma's got till we go over there. Do, do, do. He's got Eevee, good old trusty Eevee. Dive Bomb is not uh, a very good choice right there, because uh, he's able to counter it, does not pierce or anything. Alright, some tricky, tricky spirit shackles. Uh, not that Garchomp would suffer a ton, because since Magius isn't anywhere near powered up yet. Alright, uh, really why I believe? Whatever those green arrows are, taking that phase shift. Garchomp, trickery, reset, going into a sand tomb combo. Mid, uh, field, it's not gonna do a lot, but it's very intimidating. Gonna trick Fumu into poking at uh, Stone Edge. He gets to keep his shield, but he took some damage from it. Alright, Miss Mage is that gonna, that's not gonna combo. It's gonna create a nasty situation on Waco. And Eskadale will just release X through that first round. This is very nice setups for Mr. Eskadale. Very nice, disgusting setups. Just kidding. A little bit disgustingly good, we'll say that. Fumu, uh, it's tolling that out, getting a grab, going to dual phase. Doing some owl comboing. Uh, some modest damage, but it's okay. Now he's gonna attack buff, and that everything's gonna do way more damage than it did before. He's sitting on burst. I, I feel like he should just pop it, but he's doing really well. It's not like he really needs to. He's got the pressure on, he's got the momentum. Fumu is riding this momentum all the way to the bank, and all the way sideways, apparently. So he gets poked in the face. Great use of the sideways movement. Although, like, he's doing a lot of sideways. Didn't get a lot of mileage off it until that uh, dive with the clock. What am I witnessing here? Escadale is now green, taking this back into the wall. Fortunately, PSP does not save Fumu. Escadale is opting for that reset. Fumu resets PSP kind of in his favor, I guess. I mean, he's the one to burst, so he can do whatever he wants. The only disadvantage of this is if he does win this, he's pretty much going to walk into the next round with zero burst whatsoever. That is a high pizza cutter, punishable with a grab, and so he does just that. But now he doesn't have to burst. Um, unless he got burst chair, which he usually does. Yep, he does. Good job, Fumu. I wonder if Fumu would benefit from like uh, pressure or whatever that was that boosts your burst up to max. Interesting sucker punch. Just not go through the animation for didn't catch anything, but tick throws with it. Anybody's game right now. Uh, now I've learned as much as I gripe and whine about Decidueye's counter, its range isn't that good. So basically, if you're Weavile, it's a terrible counter, apparently. But uh, Garchomp is not Weavile and has a little bit of a hard time getting out of it, I think. But you, I think anybody can still jump it. Anyway, so, uh, it's somewhat even, except for the fact that Escadale now has burst, so who is in trouble, but he's getting burst back. And I think he could get it back, as long as Escadale doesn't break his shield anytime soon. Or is this this combos into burst, which I don't think it does. Nope. Who popping that burst. Somebody hoping to catch somebody pushing a dumb button. That is a the questionable button. Uh, oh, okay, that's gonna run out of burst right as that happened, so he couldn't punish it. Well, he tried, but it was caught him off for a loop. And it caught me for a loop, too, because it's like, what's going on? Alright, so we're playing it carefully. Decidueye is beautiful, useful counter, catching that. Uh, that, uh, it's questionable. I, he's gotta do some craziness to bring it back. Alright, he brought it back. Five seconds. Let's go. Survive for four seconds. Miss Meiji's gonna make this kind of difficult if it makes it all the way over there. Oh, just gets bop at Ms. Mages, and... Ooh, good. That's like 0.07% if I look at those numbers, right? Escadea will narrowly take this first game. Am I messing up facts yet? Awesome. I'm 
mean, I'm missing like a whole lot of the inputs, but. Alright, SK Dale, I'm very. It, I mean, it looked really strong. The actual damage it did was kind of modest. So if we move, you know, he can chill out a little bit. Now, now he's got to panic just a little bit. I mean, panicking is bad. Alright. Better put, Escadale is having a very strong lead. Frenzy Plant helping Fumu get out of that corner. As is this owl stuff, but Release X's iframe ish brief moment is going to help out a ton. So Joyce counter, yeah. I'm watching this now and I feel like this counter isn't so bad on him. And by bad, I mean broken. Because uh, it was pretty tough to get out of there without just a bad Frenzy Plant. Bug, the, the one frenzy plan he used was good, so anyway, moving on. Shark Oki. Infield. Who we played it pretty carefully. Okay, tried to catch that. It was a very interesting exchange. I guess imagine he wasn't minus at all because of the sucker punch, but uh, moving on. Tricks. Uh, Escadale out with a move. I don't think he's used this entire game, so that's pretty smart of him. Good mind games from Fumu. Alright, Escadale respecting a lot of this. Cannot catch the see. The reason I kept coming to Sidueye's counter is because you can't find the vulnerable frames and those illustrated there. But Fumu accidentally drops his counter, probably because the Sidueye's counters are kind of whack. Or sorry, Fumu drops his combo because the Sidueye's combos are kind of whack based on the character. But manages to take that round with a frenzy plan. All right, respect and field. Except for that. Dale seizing his opportunity with a counter. Fumu was just figuring, you know, Garchomp can't do anything about Frenzy Plant was in the air. Use a Frenzy Plant, except there. And Garchomp got an Earthquake going. Nasty Ms. Meiji is set up. Fumu choosing the shield at this time, taking that damage. Uh, I'm starting to think you may as well just take the Ms. Meiji but I could be wrong. Feel free to chime in. Good lord! That attack buff is something else with that combo. Fumu's gotta do something. Let's see, yeah, this, assuming this goes the next round, maybe he's gotta pick a support that's gonna help him out with that just terrible Miss Mages setup. Or that attack buff at all, because an attack buff on Chomp, if he gets combo going, that's nasty. Ooh, pop and burst! Uh, interesting grab from the air. Uh, interesting burst pop. I think he thought that's gonna push the button. Our EB in Burst can help him a lot. Get some very nice stuff going. Good job, for a whole serious combo from Burst. Good use of it. Uh, of course, uh, his Burst is running out while SK Dale's is just starting out fresh. He's got a meager amount of Burst to deal with to bring this back with Burst. When Burst is out, he's got to rely on Decidueye's natural tools in order to get around this. Oh, Sand Tomb charged. Actually goes through with it. SK Dale bashes him into the wall. Of course, the CGI I think is going to drop back to this Miss Meiji setup. Uh, I don't know what could have happened there. It's crazy. Good planning from SK Dale, though. Very good match.